Welcome back to another action-packed episode of Clash of Trades Welding League Edition. I'm your host, Conchetta Salvia, and today we are at the beautiful campus of Lakeland Community College in Kirtland, Ohio. Let's see who will rise to the top as today's Welding League champion for Project MFG's competition. A hundred competitors across the nation have been competing this year, and after several rounds of project-based competition, today we have the top 25 from 10 different states competing for the national championship. The winner will win $10,000 and of course, major bragging rights. The second place winner will walk home with $5,000 and the third, $2,500. Let's meet these teams. It's the day of the competition and I honestly don't know what to expect. I honestly didn't even think I was gonna make it to like the finals, but I did, so. I'm just proud of myself for even making it here. It's finally the national championship. To be able to be here today and be one of the top people at this competition, I'm really happy. Welders, welcome to Clash of Trades Welding League Edition. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Your mission, which you've already chosen to accept, is to fabricate and weld an aircraft carrier. But the catch is, you only have eight hours to do so. Are you ready? Yeah! The competition starts now. A lot going on. The hardest part is keeping your mind straight with this whole thing. You know, there's a lot of pressure. And... My heart is just pounding. Just want to do well today, and I don't want to mess up <laughs> when it's most important. Hi, my name is Conchetta Salvia, and I'm the host for Class of Trades Welding Edition. We're at Lakeland Community College, and I helped build the weld booths in one of the competing rooms. My friends and I, when we were in high school during our welding program, came here at six o'clock almost every single morning to install and weld and just put that entire booth together. And so it's a full circle moment coming back here and now seeing them in action. It's truly awesome. The best of the best is here with us today, and this is what they had to fabricate and weld to get here. This is a Black Hawk helicopter, and this is an F-18 fighter jet. The students who are here today had to first complete a Black Hawk helicopter and the F-18 fighter jet. The final project is to replicate the aircraft carrier Abraham Lincoln, and so they have to accomplish all of that, time pressure sensitive, following the design specifications, and making something out of nothing. This competition was made possible by the team at Project MFG. Welding is my passion because no matter what, you can always like get better. There's constantly new stuff for you to learn. The opportunity that Project MFG has given to me is one of the biggest I've ever had. I think it's great that a whole bunch of high schoolers and college kids get to come out here. There's a lot of jobs that are in need and we're like in a deficit of workers and we need a lot more. As a community college, we are about our community. Typically, welders are at the heart of middle-class America. We're really thankful that Project MFG selected Lakeland as its site for this national competition. The competition is officially underway. The welders are in their booths doing the first steps of the process. If you look here, this is everything they need to be successful today. It's the finals and we get to weld a battleship and it's about three foot by like 12 inches tall. It's the biggest thing I've ever worked on as a student. More challenging with the size for sure. I'll be using several different processes for welding. I'll use MIG, TIG, flux core, and stick. One of the things that happens during the fit-up process is you see that these pieces have bevels on the side. This original piece doesn't start off that way, so the competitors have to bevel them themselves. And when the judges get them, one of the first things they check is to make sure that the bevels are the correct degree, because it is super crucial to the end result. What they're having us weld today is going to be eighth inch thick, quarter inch, and three eighths inch thick mild steel plate. You need to take it in steps. Once the competitors are done tacking up the aircraft carrier, they put it on this table and it goes to the other room for the judges to check their fit up. So not only do they get judged on the final product, they get judged on the fit up as well. So there's uh, about 30 some welds on this thing, but so we're not checking every prep, but we're doing, a, we've predetermined which ones we wanted to look at. So we're checking those. How's it going over here? Um, it's pretty good. I just 
had to switch my machine out. And a lot of things happened that I didn't expect to happen, like my machine kept failing. So I'm setting my machine up for MIG, and I've been having problems with this machine all day. And so we're hoping it works. If not, I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that, but I'm hoping, praying that it works. With all the machine failure going on, it was kind of rough, but as long as I kept a positive attitude, I felt like I was going to get through it. Well, right now, I've got the base of the boat done, and I'm trying to get the top of it done. So if I don't have, I have any gaps or anything, I'll get too hot and penetrate too fast. i got to make sure it's almost perfect. I had no idea what I was walking into. Like, I know all of these people are good. Like, I'm sure they're better than me. I'm just, like, terrified right now. But then I got into the zone and just got through my day. My mom is so proud. Every time I'd have to walk out of my booth, she's just looking at me. She's like, yeah, go, Bella. All right, so here we have a super cool visual. This is the inside of a MIG welder. So you start off with your wire. You can change different thicknesses. This is 035, you can have 045. And then the wire feeds through and you got your drive rolls. These are crucial to make sure that the wire stays in place as you're going through. If you have the wrong size drive roll, that can be detrimental. This is your tension. You want to make sure that your tension isn't too high or too low because it also affects how the weld ends up being placed. If you push this button down here, then that purges your gas to make sure that your line is properly flowing air, which is crucial to making sure the weld doesn't get contaminated. It's been a little hard. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta make sure you read the prints. So we had a little roadblock where you had to get a new welder. How are you feeling after that change? You know what, I'm actually feeling not so bad about it as I was during. Good, like, good. I, I feel good where I'm at right now. Okay. Just did a MIG weld, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, so. from what I can see, <laughs> looking good. You have nothing to worry about. Uh, thank you. <laughs> These competitors have just one hour left. The room is buzzing. Let's see how they're doing. Finished all the welding. Now I'm just gonna clean up. I was the first to finish, and I feel pretty good about that. Just making sure I did all the blueprints right. Take a look it over. Once you tell me it's done, it's done. So if you want to grind it up, clean it up, the inspectors are going to be tough. I don't know if I'm going to have time to finish it, honestly. It doesn't matter if I don't finish, because I know I tried my hardest and I did my best to do what I could. Five minutes left. Tensions are high. Will they even finish? Let's see how they're doing. Table. Shut her down! So exhausted. <laughs> Time was definitely just not on my side, but you know I got it done, so that's good enough for me. I left it all in the welding booth, and now it's time for judging. Going into the judging, everything I've done up to now has led to this, and I have no regrets. Scoring included quality and visual inspection. The competition judges were experts from industry, education, apprentice programs, and American Welding Society leaders. The project was evaluated and scored for surface prep and finish, drawing accuracy, and unfinished features, among other factors. Judges also performed an examination of the welds to identify any visible defects, such as cracks, porosity, or inclusions. Welders, your challenge was fabricating and welding an aircraft carrier, which you've all did. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, let's hear those results. No matter what, who walks away with these first, second, and third prize, honestly, you guys are all winners. But I'll start with number three. Bragdon Doman, congratulations. The people back home, I think, are going to be really happy with what I've accomplished and getting third place in the competition. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You did a great job. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Second place, Benjamin 
Cornby from Maple Mountain High School. I just won second place. I really wanted to be able to do my best today and not choke under pressure, and it, it paid off. Nice job. I'm going to now ask Connie to announce the first place winner. So I'd like to congratulate everyone you've made it this far, but our first place winner is... Braxton Lear. I just won $10,000 and it's amazing. I'm still in shock. I mean, it doesn't feel real working so hard and like it happened just the way I dreamed of it. <laughs> it's very emotional for me because it makes me feel great. I already told him I loved him. I was just the, the, the work put in was incredible. This future is really bright. I think winning or losing, you take away the knowledge you've gained from here and the experience and just a really good time. It's something that a year ago, I never thought I could accomplish. I had a lot of fun competing and the experience I'm taking away from this competition is priceless. I'm here and I did it, so that means you can too. Thank you for joining us on another action-packed episode of Clash of Trades. It was made possible by Airgas, Lincoln Electric, and iBass, along with the many trade schools that have participated. If you would like to participate or sponsor Project MFG on its journey to close a trade worker deficit, you can find us online or across all socials. We'll see you soon on another episode of Clash of Trades.